First, we you have to choose the more to true believing Mormon because no one is in the city green mall. Where then you Jesus have to find places to put all the extra cash and all its more profit on and generates and make it Brothers and sisters, the feeling you have to fight off the IRS by witnessing the completion of the City Creek Center in Salt Lake are exceedingly white and delightsome. Five billion dollar economic development in downtown Salt Lake, including a high end mall and luxury condos, should show our impoverished Mormons in South America, Africa, and Asia that we are not just an American church. Should also show them that we do follow in Jesus' footsteps. Even down to the last detail, as security will regularly drive the money changers from the Salt Lake Temple across the street into Tiffany and Company where they belong. Granted, the church originally estimated a construction cost of only one billion widow mites for the center, but you know how costs can creep up on a project in the Lord's errand. First, you have to choose the more expensive construction company because the owner is an apostle's cousin. Then you have to find places to put all the extra cash that the Lord's for-profit arm generates and make it look legitimate. Then you have to fight off the IRS by proving that your mall should still get tax-exempt status think being a thirty billion dollar corporation is easy? Think again. Mo money, mo problems, as an obese descendant of Cain once said. The unquestioningly faithful can rest assured that no tithing funds were used for this commercial investment in the City Creek Center. It's merely being developed and funded by the LDS Church, but the five billion poured into it again is not tithing money. You see, the five billion dollars came from the church's interest and investment income that our for-profit arm generates. Cash which comes in like clockwork as well, thanks to the tithing that made all those investments possible in the first place. Since we believe that wealth comes as a result of righteousness, I fully support the Lord's radio stations, newspapers, insurance companies, hunting grounds, and cattle ranches. May they generate the billions in profit that a religious non-profit organization was meant to earn. Yes, I said cattle ranches, which we have bought in order to follow Jesus' example during his triumphal entry into Jerusalem riding a donkey on Palm Sunday to show his humility. The part where he slaughtered it later and sold the meat to McDonald's was one of the plain and precious truths left out of the Bible. Until next time, stay worthy, brothers and sisters. You've been listening to True Believing Mormon. Please obey all traffic laws and drive safely as you return home from this edifying experience.